This video was sponsored by Envato Elements. In this video, I'll be taking your submitted photos and turn them into anything I feel like. Whether it's subtle, dramatic, adorable, or badass, I'll do my best to turn your images into more than just images. Welcome to editing your photos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this brand new episode of Editing Your Photos. If you want to send yours, make sure to send it to editingyourphotos at bennyproductions.net. And then now let's get into the first one. Laxman sent me this photo. I watched your YouTube videos and tried something for myself. I'm attaching some pictures of mine. Please do some creative stuff with it. Thank you very much. I guess I'll see what sort of fantastical edit I can make using your picture. Let's hop onto Photoshop and get this thing going. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are in Photoshop and first of all, of course, like literally every episode of editing your photos, I have to mask this guy out. So let's go ahead and start uh, kind of right here and go all around this guy. You guys know how much I love this. This is by far my favorite thing to do. And there you go. Absolutely gorgeous. I guess we can put him kind of right there. Seems like a nice spot because down here we're going to put a beautiful ground. To be exact, this one right here, I'm going to sort of put that, uh, yeah, well, right here. Now, I want the background to be dark already because at the end it is going to be a quite a dark sort of atmospheric place. And then to make this landscape look a little bit more interesting and, uh, you know, yeah, well, more detailed, I'm going to add a bunch of these rocks to the background like so. And one of these right here somewhere. I don't even know. It's kind of random. And also on the front here, maybe some of these big ones as well. Ooh, I like the way that looks, ladies and gentlemen. As you may have suspected, this guy is going to be surrounded by a bunch of flying rocks and then there's going to be light from above. Well, I mean, obviously. And it's going to look very nice and mystical and cool. So let's see. Let's first go and add some effects to the background sky using this. This is from my Optics Plus library. If you want to buy this, make sure to click the link down below in my description. You can get these and a bunch of other cool overlays like particles and whatnot. So check it out. For now, however, let's put this on screen. Put it on top there, kind of like this. And in the middle here, I'm going to paint some light very softly. Just add that like so, so it's not completely black as that would suck. Now I'm gonna quickly hide these rocks and first work on this. It has to be super dark, more like uh, like this, I would say. Then let's also go ahead and add some blue because this is gonna have sort of a blue tone. Then let's add some more darkening, like super dark, hide that and then sort of paint around the edges here. Very, very nice. This is going to take some painting, but I guess uh, that's fine. Considering the light is coming from above, we're going to need some uh, some shadows here. As you can see, this is already starting to look like something. Is it me or does it kind of look like this is underwater? It totally does. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe that's kind of a cool effect as well. Who knows? On top here, I'm going to add some light bouncing uh, off of these rocks. The light on top is going to be pretty freaking bright because it lits up that guy uh, quite, quite a lot. So we got to make sure that translates onto these rocks. This is looking pretty good, I would say. And then basically the exact same thing kind of goes for these rocks as well. So I'm adding some shadows to these. Make sure they look like they're actually part of this landscape. And of course, we can't forget about the rocks in the front here. Let's see. Just the same sort of shadows again. And of course, these also cast some shadows onto the ground they're sitting on. So let's also do that kind of like this. And that hopefully will make it look actually realistic. Okay, so then I can unhide this chap. And as you can see, now we just have to make sure sure he kind of fits in there as well. Let's uh, add a bit of blue to him. Then of course also a tad darker like this. And then let's go and add some highlights on the very very bright areas because we just determined that the light is coming from above and that it's very very bright. Just like this. Of course the main lighting is already there but I just want to make sure the highlights are actually like super bright, brighter than all the other stuff. Maybe it looks terrible, but first, I mean, we have to try to see if it does. The hair is probably the most important thing. This is gonna look really weird at first, but I hope I can uh, sort of use this to make that look nice. Now, wouldn't it be cool if we add some very bright uh, magical eyes? Kind of like this, and then the color will be the same as whatever effect we're gonna add later. This guy is obviously floating above this, so we need some kind of soft black dark shadow below him. Shouldn't be too too intense but just a little bit otherwise I feel like it it's just a bit disconnected there you go then for the floating rock idea I had let's go ahead and drop in some of these rocks seems like a good idea I have a bunch of different ones uh, I'm just gonna place these down and then we'll kind of see where that goes then there's also these uh, smaller rocks let me put those right here maybe kind of like this seems uh, 
pretty cool, I think. So then I'm just gonna have to add a bunch of shadows to uh, make this look nice and realistic. So uh, let me just do that all the way to the top here. This is getting kind of boring, not gonna lie. Well, I guess that is pretty much all of them. Then maybe we can give some of these a nice blur to get that nice depth of field going. As you can see, that's nicely blurred right there. The blur there really does it for me. For some reason, that always makes it look so much cooler when there's multiple things kind of floating around. Then for a final nice effect, I'm gonna add some glow around the edges to kind of make the light bounce off of it. Just like that, one by one. And I almost forgot we were gonna make the eyes nice and bright blue because it matches uh, the light. There you go. Very nice. And really, like this i feel like that's pretty pretty good let's go and see what happens if we add a camera raw filter and afterwards we can decide whether or not we can add some more stuff this is starting to look very very interesting the color grading is definitely what does it giving it that nice split tone effect and well i suppose that is it then it looks pretty cool not exactly what i had in mind when i started but i guess this is definitely a nice outcome as well back to the studio very epic. Now, before moving on, Gary has a message for you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gary, and today we're sponsored by Envato Elements, a platform filled to the brim with everything you could possibly need for digital creation. For both video and photo editing, there's a bunch of cool stuff. For example, stock photos, there's very, very many unique ones on here. And for the video editors among us, there's absolutely amazing stock video, video templates, and sound effects, because all the sound effects you hear in my videos in the background are from Envato Elements. And then of course there is Photoshop actions and brushes and layer styles and it is absolutely amazing. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm giving away one free year of Envato Elements, so make sure to comment on my latest story on my Instagram page. Unlock nearly 60 million stock assets on Envato Elements for only $16 a month with an annual subscription. Find the link down below in the description and I am out before I die, so goodbye. Cool. Now onto the second one, which was sent by Victor. Hey Benny, I really like your dope editing skills. I would be glad to see this picture come to life. The picture was sent by my cousin. Do whatever you want to do with this picture, Victor. Thank you for your photo. The Witcher definitely fits the whole fantasy theme we have going on. So I guess let's get straight into it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to magically make this background disappear. Look, one, two, three. It's magic, guys. Okay, let's uh, let's get to it. First, I'm gonna drop in a background. That being the castle from The Witcher Season 2. I forgot the name. Ger Morin, something like that. Let's kind of put that right here. Then I also have this sky, which doesn't exactly match, but we can make it work somehow. Let's just put that right here. Put it below the original one, then add a mask. Then uh, kind of erase this edge, I guess. And then I think if we set this one to luminosity, it instantly changes with the color of the background. Perfect. And we just need to make sure right here it's a bit brighter. Same goes for the left. Let's adjust this image to the colors of the background, even though it's already pretty close. Something like this, I guess, is pretty good. Then since her cloak is cut off, we probably want to extend it just a bit like that. Remove this weird bump here, and then we should be all set. Then most of all, we want to go and add some highlights to make this look like it's very bright, like, uh, well, back here. So for that, let's go and increase these highlights on her hood just a little bit. Actually, just her entire cloak, I should say. I like how the Witcher has a smartwatch. That's, that's nice. Cause no matter how far away you roam. Look how cool this looks. This was before, this is after. That is awesome. Would we be able to make the eyes black as if he's in that weird trance that he goes in? Or in this case, that she goes in, of course. Kind of like this. That looks absolutely menacing yes and then using this texture i can make that weird effect around the eyes that she has that he has in the show and so i should probably edit here as well painting with a very soft brush there you go yeah that kind of works we should blur it a little bit though because the image isn't completely sharp there you go which reminds me we should probably add a blur to the background as well just like that not too much subtle 
always good. I will also add some light bloom on this side because it's pretty freaking bright in the sky there. Now, I just want to try something that may spice this up just a little bit. What if we do this? I don't remember any of this being in the show or the video game. Maybe it was, maybe I'm stupid, but it does look pretty cool to have like a very bright sort of light thing in the middle there and then the same idea in the middle all the way to the top like that and then we should make that glowy yes just like so a nice uh glow on top i'm not actually so sure if i like this but i guess we'll see in a sec when i have this whole thing done i feel like it just Nah, uh, you know what? Nah, it's, it's fine. Then we definitely want to add some snow. And guys, you guessed it, these snow overlays are also from my brand new optics library. So make sure to check it out if you're interested in that. You get uh, snow overlays and rain and fog and particles and whatever you want and need really. So go check it out. Link down below in the description. I'm just going to use these snow overlays to, uh, well, what a surprise add some snow. I like to layer these to make sure there's a bunch of snow kind of uh, happening in the background, just like so, kind of. And we also want to have a layer that's blurred because we do have the depth blur going on still, so we, we we have to keep that in mind. As you can see, this creates this nice difference between the blurred snowflakes and the non-blurred snowflakes. I think that looks pretty good, although right now there's a bit much. Let's decrease the opacity on that, see what happens. I feel like that's a bit better. And then at the very top, I'm going to use these very large ones put that on screen hide it with a mask and then sort of paint back around the edges only it should be very subtle just a little bit right there beautiful that definitely made it look a lot cooler in my opinion and then using an inverted one because as you can see here the sky is very bright you can kind of paint these back as well so you still see them that's technically what you would see in real life there you go now you can still see these snowflakes here same goes for this side and then let's see what else what else what else maybe some darkening down here to make Make it a bit more uh i don't know hazy or something kind of all around like a vignette beautiful and then i guess we can try adding a camera raw filter again and see what happens maybe something comes to mind but i feel like this is already pretty cool then let's add some nice curves as well this always makes it look so nice and cinematic and then some color grading of course as well cannot miss out on that i feel like something like this again is pretty good blue is obviously a go-to for this one there you go look that's that's pretty good and then i guess that is pretty much it it looks uh, it looks nice I'm pretty happy with the result. I hope you are too. And then uh, back to the studio. Then for the speed art segment of today, we're doing Doctor Strange, which was sent by Anonymous. Hello, Benny. I'm a super fan. I love all your work. I was wondering if you can edit this picture of my little cousin as Doctor Strange. His birthday is really soon and I'd love it if you can edit his picture. Anyways, thank you and keep up the good work. Since the new movie is coming out, this felt like the perfect opportunity. So let's just run it one last time for today.
very, very nice. Now, these are the ones I made today. It's nothing special. It's quite similar to stuff we've done in the past, but still, I kind of like them. Let me know down below in the comments which one is your favorite. And don't forget, if you want to send yours, make sure to send them to editingyourphotos at bennyproductions.net. Don't forget to check out Envato Elements. And then I guess for today, that's it. If you like this video, make very sure to leave a like, subscribe, and then I hope I'll see you in my next video.